Um, so this is the Edirol V4. Uh, this is a pretty standard, well-known video mixer. And basically it combines four video inputs here, mixes them together, applies various effects. Right now I have um, video output from Ming Mecca going into channel one, and video output from the LZX Visual Cortex going into channel two. I'm applying a chroma key here. Threshold for that is right there. You can also, of course, just do a simple crossfade between um, the two video feeds. There's the LZX pattern. Here's the Ming Mecca scene. And then here they are chroma keyed together. There are basically two ways of going about this. The way we're doing it here is taking two independent video streams and then mixing them in the V4. But we could also use the V4 to act as a signal conditioner for Ming Mecca. Uh, now in order to do that, we have to convert the V4's output into component video, which is what the visual cortex uh, accepts as an input. I happen to have a composite to component converter here made by a company called Ambery. Um, so now, as you can see, we're actually processing Ming Mecca's video through the visual cortex, which gives you a lot of very cool expressive um, options. Um, and this will actually work with any 240p source. So you can see here we're processing uh, this Sega Nomad through the cortex. Uh, and again, this is going from your 240p source, whether that's Ming Mecca, Ming Micro, or something else, uh, into the V4, from the V4 into the Ambery converter, and then Ambery into the LCX. I assume that this will work with the LCX color time base corrector, uh, if you don't want to use uh, an external converter like this and just have something integrated. So the V4 definitely seems like a really great way to um, get 240p sources into your LCX 480i environment. Uh, and finally, here it is working with our uh, Ming Micro prototype. As you can see, it works exactly like the Ming Mecha system, uh, Ming Micro and Ming Mecha output, uh, exactly the same video format, so there's no difference there. Uh, so the V4 runs about $400 to $500 on eBay, depending on how lucky you get with your auction, uh, and it actually has MIDI control itself, so it really would make a pretty nice pairing with Ming Micro for um, people that want to integrate it into larger video rigs like this. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that it was helpful. As always, if there are any questions, comments, or etc., please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And uh, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.